On Tuesday, Immigration Minister Robert Jenrick spoke to the BBC. There are also some new challenges that have come up. For example, very large numbers of Albanians coming to the UK. It's correct that the number of Albanians has shifted. Two years ago, 50 Albanians arrived in the UK in small boats. Last year, it was 800. And this year, so far, it's been 12,000, of which about 10,000 are single adult men. Which begs the question, why? Albania is in southern Europe. It has a population of 2.8 million. The UK government describes it as safe and prosperous. But prosperity is relative. Albania's median hourly wage in 2018 was €1.70, the lowest in Europe. In the UK, it was nine times higher. And one global poll in 2018 found that 60% of Albanian adults wanted to leave. The only countries where that figure was higher were Haiti, Liberia and Sierra Leone. But there's another reason why numbers are going up right now. We contacted an Albanian journalist, Fatjona Medini, who's been investigating. So the numbers have been increased right now because it's cheaper. Before, for an Albanian that wanted to go to the UK illegally, they have to go on the back of a lorry. And this was costly. And this would cost like uh, 20 to 25 thousands of pounds. Well, now you can cross the channel just by paying to the smugglers three to four thousand pounds. And to drive up demand, adverts like this on TikTok are being aimed at Albanians. This one offers dinghy for UK with safe passage. And most of the Albanians arriving in the UK will apply for asylum. The number of claims has gone from a few hundred a year to more than 7,000. To put this in context, last year France had close to the same number as the UK. And of those who do claim asylum, the Home Office says many show no interest in seeing their claim through. We'll typically put them in a hotel for a couple of days and then they'll disappear. They'll work illegally in the UK for maybe six months, maybe a year, uh, send the money home and then they'll go back, um, back to Albania. And of those who don't abscond, recent data shows that 14% of asylum claims from Albanian men are successful. So the vast majority of Albanian men either never see their claim through or are rejected. To address this, the government says it wants to find a way to have a fast track for Albanians, so claims are heard in days, not months. It is, though, a different story for Albanian women and children. 90% of their asylum claims are granted. Most of the Albanians getting a, a positive decision are female, and um, it's believed that many of them are victims of, of trafficking who haven't been able to, uh, who, whom the Albanian state has not been able to protect, and that's why they've qualified for asylum. Meanwhile, this week, matters became ever more political as Albania's Prime Minister responded to UK government claims that this is an invasion. Is uh, nothing but, uh, uh, but fueling uh, xenophobia and, uh, and targeting, uh, singling out uh, community and uh, practically uh, uh, going totally against the great British tradition of uh, integrating the minorities. And while the politicians exchange opinions, it remains true that the number of Albanian men coming to the UK has changed. So has the way the UK and Albania deal with this. The Home Office notes, since signing our returns agreement with Albania in 2021, we've removed more than a thousand Albanians. But as the boats keep coming, this issue remains both a practical and a political challenge, as well as an ordeal for those who need safe haven.